Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to change .NET Framework version in SSIS package. We will learn how to change .NET Framework 4 to 4.5 and then also we are going to add a reference to assembly system.io.compression.filesystem.dll So why we are adding this assembly? Because in 4.5 .NET Framework uh, there are some classes available to this uh, um, uh, namespace or assembly and we can make use of them uh, to compress or uncompress uh, the files and folders so what we can do here let me show you first of all uh, on my control panel if I go ahead and find out add remove tab I want to show you some programs here here you can see that I have .NET Framework 4 and I have .NET Framework 4.5. So we, we right now we are going to go ahead and take a look uh, which framework SSIS package is using in the script task. So let me open the new project. So I am using SSIS 2012. So you will be using maybe SSIS 2014. Um, whatever you are using, open the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools, then go to File and uh, create a new project. So once uh, we create a new project, Integration Services Project, we can name this one. We can call this one maybe .NET Framework. Hit OK. and uh, inside uh, the project what we have here we have packages so first of all the packages are by default created we can go ahead and create a new one if we like uh, but we can make use of uh, this package so once we are in the package we can bring the script uh, task here let's open the script task and then we can select the scripting language here we have Microsoft Visual C uh, sharp and 2012 so we can uh, we are okay with that go to the edit script uh, and here we are going to find out uh, if it is using the framework uh, 4 or a .NET framework 4.5 so first of all we will make sure that one and then we'll change it uh, if required it's, it take uh, some time to open it now hit on the solution here and go to properties and then here we can see that uh, in the application uh, and the assembly name is this one target uh, framework is uh, .NET Framework 4 and we want to use 4.5 because that's where we have that uh, 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 assembly available to us uh, that we can use for the zip or unzip uh, the files now I'm gonna select uh, that framework uh, 4.5 and it is saying changing the target framework require that the current project be closed and then reopen I said okay fine it's taken some time so now we are good next part uh, what we want to do let me show you few things here if I will try to use uh, this namespace using system dot io dot compression dot zip file now if I will try to use this uh, uh, namespace and then this class uh, it is throwing me error and it is telling uh, you are missing assembly reference so we have to add the assembly so let's go back here and go to the references right click here add a reference and uh, it is now it is targeting uh, .NET Framework 4.5 so we go and add assembly so we'll find the system.io.compression dot file system. So check this uh, and then hit uh, OK. Now see the that part is uh, gone. So the class is available as uh, the assembly is added. So we are we can save the script now. And uh, I have uh, created one uh, script for you just uh, to show you the assembly is added successfully and uh, we can make use of that one so we go here and this part what we are doing here we are using a zip file that extract uh, hold on one second what is happening let me see if I'm making any change so 
we don't need to add the class here we are just uh, we can use the namespace here and then further make use of this one here so we can use this class here um, so we have zip file that uh, then we have to provide the function whatever you, we are using here we are saying extract to directory and I am extracting a dot zip file this one to the another directory so we are good and let me show you the folder so we have folder here that's the uh, has zip file and then we have unzip there is no file in this one right now so let's go back and run it if we save this one close it in the next video I will loop through the zip files and extract them to different folders and all those kind of thing I'm gonna do it but this was the very first and basic how to add or change the dotnet framework and add the assembly so this is basic component we needed to work with these uh, assemblies and classes so stop the package now and uh, let's go back to the folder and take a look now the file is uh, available in the unzip so it uh, took the file zip file and then unzipped it and put into this folder so that's great so we are successfully able to change the dotnet framework as well as we added a reference to the assembly and made use of zip file class next we use c sharp in this script task let me bring the second script task here and let's open this one and let's change to the visual basic open script task uh, what i'm thinking as i have changed reference so reference for is specific to the uh, task so in the first one we have changed to the 4.5 and uh, here in in the new script task we are still probably using uh, the same dotnet framework that was 4 so uh, this framework is specific to the script task so you have to if you are using multiple script task so you have to go in each of that and change it so here we are going to make use of 4.5 and let's say okay next part we are going to change sorry add assembly ref, um, reference so we'll go ahead here let me see add reference now it is making use of dotnet framework 4.5 and we, we know that we need assembly excuse me that is the system.io let me find out here so we have this one hit ok now we are all good let me show you one more thing uh, here so th this is the Microsoft uh, web page. You can know that okay, sys.io.compression is uh, the namespace. Uh, then assembly name is a little different. So it is sys.io.compression.file system. So that's the DLL you need to add. So here is the DLL. Um, that's how it will be, and you will get to know from here. You don't. You might uh, just uh, say sys.io.compression and keep adding this one. So, uh, the last time we see that in the properties let me show you again one more time sorry uh, not here as we are adding a reference so here in the assemblies you might adding uh, this one you you will keep adding assist.io.compression that's what I will uh, uh, I was adding and I was like uh, okay I can't find uh, the class uh, zip file uh, but uh, this is the assembly we need to add so we are good and next uh, we can make use of this one let's say if we want to use this one so we have imports dot sorry system dot io dot compression and then uh, we have zip file class right here so we can make use of uh, this one whenever we want uh, we can use uh, I am not I, am, I didn't prepare script for VB but it will work pretty much the same you have to change a uh, little bit and uh, that's it so that's uh, it for this video and uh, we have these different functions and we can you know, different classes and all those kind of thing we are gonna make uh, use of these uh, in the next uh, videos
so you can have a creator from directory and all those kind of thing and uh, we'll see how these work so thanks very much for watching this video and uh, stick around uh, to learn more with the uh, scripting and uh, unzipping and zipping files and uh, maybe maybe looping through a lot of files for daily basis and unzip them load them and then move to the archive so thanks once again